I was made aware on my last video about the hardware unboxed settings for Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, and so uh, people were recommending that I actually try them out in this game. Um, so I've come, come into Red Dead Redemption 2 here and I just wanted to make a quick video about those settings. Um, and it looks like it makes it truly a massive difference. The textures are obviously ultra. The game looks fantastic. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, and you can see here now in this video, uh, I'm up to 55 frames. I'd say like probably average 55 frames. The 1% lows are much higher and the 0.1% lows are massively improved to the point of being, you know, this is, this is great. Um, to my eyes, the game looks no worse. Uh, in fact, it looks better because I don't need FSR here. So this is the ARC A770 playing Red Dead Redemption with optima hardware unboxed optimized settings. So credit for them, this is really good. And the game looks fantastic and it's sitting, I would say 55 to 60 would be a pretty strong average. And for 47 FPS, 0.0% lows. This is with no FSR. And this is uh, an ARC A770, very budget card. This is incredible performance. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be biased here, but um, this is much, much, much better. Yeah, I mean, it's at 60, whereas at 55 before. 61, 65. So it is giving a boost. I mean, we're up to 65 now. Um, so you could certainly throw an FSR if you want. Um, if you want to be above 60 on average. Um, it seems to work just fine. Okay, so now we're at 1440p. Same thing, hardware and box settings. No FSR here again. Um, so basically a mix of ultra and high settings. And, you know, a few tweaks here and there to bring down. Uh, bring up the performance where it's unneeded and I mean look at that uh, now we're at 87 FPS 88 95 over there I mean that's pr I guess an easier area I guess populated areas are worse so but the 1% lows are 82 the 0.1% lows are above 60 now I mean this is really good performance um, I wish I'd have known about this before because my previous video um, you know, that portion with the Red Dead is just basically presets. So people, I mean, anyone could just come in and do those presets, but you know, this is so much better. This is 4K now. I played this game on the Series X and uh, I can't hardly believe how good this looks. It looks incredible at 4K with these presets, all the textures. This is back to 1440p. So you can see here, I mean, the game just runs incredibly well. 1440p, use those hardware and box settings and just go for it. And it's, it just runs so well. And the game looks incredible. Uh, for 4K gamers like me, 
Uh, same thing, I mean, you're going to get 55 to 60 FPS with the hardware and box settings, which is totally fine. Let's give this guy back his horse. Yeah, so there you go. I mean, it's running incredibly well. Uh, kind of null and void to my old video, unfortunately. But uh, you can see here, I mean, it just it runs really well. Yeah, so in conclusion, the RK770, uh, I mean, if, you be, if you're using the hardware unboxed settings, you can basically, on 4K, just use the hardware unboxed settings and, you know, you're going to get quite good frame rates. You can see here about 845 FPS. And the, the key thing here is that the 0.1% lows and the 1% lows are also really high. Don't forget that you're able to add FSR on top of this if you want to get an extra 10 or 12 FPS on average. With FSR, it sits closer to about 60 FPS at 4K. Uh, so if you really want to make sure you're locked to 4K, 60, you probably want to throw in a little FSR, but I'll be playing at this resolution here with this with no FSR because I just prefer the way it looks. And I'm okay with 48, 55 FPS. I don't necessarily need 60.